Y'all need to stop talking shit about fucking Metroid. Metroid Prime. Aaron, nobody's, nobody's talking about you or that Switch. Okay. Let, let's just let's just say Metroid Prime is is not no it's not gonna exist. It's no longer in the bro, books. It doesn't we didn't even, it does. Bro, yes, we it didn't does. no it don't. We didn't even get a CGI. <laughs> we just got a bro, we just got the title screen for it. Uh, that's no, that's what I'm saying. It does things differently. We don't show games it, that like aren't ready to be brought out. Like, come on, man. Great Aaron, Aaron has great. so much hope for a Prime great, 4. Great this takes time. Crazy. Wait, this do take time. <laughs> not, th- not this long. God damn. Everybody, nice to meet you back on the podcast. It's great to see all these amazing faces back on Kalia. We have you back. Thank you for joining us again. And uh, Angel, which hasn't been around for like probably years. <laughs> so, yeah, I think last summer, the last time he was on. Yeah. Been a while. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think it's been. How's everything been, man? How's everything been? Uh, everything's going good. It's going pretty good. Progressing in life, trying to do what I got to do to get by, you know, the usual. How about the rest of you guys? Hanging in there. Well, I, I, I seen you like yeah, not too long ago, so you know how I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so overall, I mean, I'm glad to have you guys back on here in general. Let's talk about Let's get into this episode. Um, first, and I think Aaron's probably going to take us away on this and... Uh, you know, um, Ramir too, with the experience of uh, Street Fighter Six coming out this week. I'm glad a lot of fans have been enjoying the experience and, you know, it, it feels good to kind of have a new addition to the Street Fighter franchise. So, you know, you guys can go ahead and take us away on it. Tell us your experience. How's the game holding up? Is it everything what you guys expected? You know what I mean? So, cool. uh, you want to go first, Mayor, or? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'll probably keep it. I'll probably be, uh, shorter than you um yeah i mean the game's great like it's right now what is it like a 90 or something like that on metacritic um i think it's 92 i think it's well deserved um i think like there's a there's a couple things that i don't like about it um i guess like the first thing is like I don't dislike it, but like it's very annoying and it's something that you have to adapt to but it's the whole drive system um, I know we all played the the demo when we was at uh, Nick when we were at your house. I don't know if you guys remember it, but it's like that timing kind of parry system. Um, I, I like it, but it's like it, it can be very annoying because people abuse it. Um, it's it like just imagine you know I'm Dragon Ball Fighters where you're fighting people and they're just spamming the dash. Yeah. It's something. It's something. It's something very similar to that, but like Street Fighter. Like I went into this game with the wrong fundamentals and impressions. Like we all here, like amongst all of us, I can say we're like Dragon Ball Fighters, Tekken, Mortal Kombat. Those are very rush down, combo oriented like games. This takes a huge step back from that. It's really about like strategizing, understanding your opponent, understanding moves, like Aaron broke it down before, like all that stuff in terms of like frame advantage, understanding like which moves counter what, like all that shit is very important. And I think the game does a good job with the the training system on explaining how everything works. So like Danny, Don, I know you guys like y'all was talking about like Street Fighter is not really your style, Mm -hmm. but like the modern control system that's in the game now really makes everything like very beginner friendly because like usually the con the way that the the controls work you have your light medium heavy punch and same thing with the kick and like usually you have to string those all together but with the modern controls they make it easier because like you can literally do like three hit combos with the tap of three buttons the same inputs so like they make it really beginner friendly with the modern controls Majority of people, though, including myself, like are using the classic controls because like you could pretty much like 
if you play on modern controls, your character's abilities are limited. So like you can't do everything that you can do with the classic controls, which kind of sucks because like, it, again, starting off the game, like most people, like it is easier to use modern controls, but because you're limited to what you can do kind of puts you at a disadvantage too. Yeah. Um, I will say like this starting roster is way better than Street Fighter Five. Street Fighter Five launched what it felt like fucking like eight characters, like, and they were all garbage. They were all fucking garbage. This game now, you know, you have your basic, uh, fundamental Street League: Ken, Ryu, Chung Lee, Cami. You know, you got all your basics, and then they added a bunch of new fighters, which is really cool. Um. I like how they broke it down to where you have like your there's different ways to play the game, especially online. Right. So like you have your battle hub, which is like a home world where you get to challenge people. Everybody's on a server at once. You get to just challenge people and shit there. Or you can just go to like your standard layout for like multiplayer where you just join rank and casual matches. Um, so that's really fun. Um, everybody like I heard that steam. This is like one of the the most popular games ever on Steam. It has like yeah. what what's the number like two hundred thousand players or something like that, all at once that. or some like, shit like that. Yeah. Um. So it broke records. I mean, I like this game definitely had everybody's expectations. I mean, it took what eight nine years or some shit for the sequel. So yeah. I think it's a yeah. great game. Um. I can definitely see like from the tournament perspective, like, this game would definitely be wild. Oh, yeah. Cool. Cool. Um, for me, I pretty much echo a lot of what he said. I, I love the game so far. Is it better than five? I'm going to say yes for right now. Only time will tell. These fighting games go through update after update to change the meta of the game occasionally. So, you know, at the end of it, it could be worse than five. You don't know. But for now, I would say it's better than five. I like all the character introductions. They're awesome. Yeah, I can't complain with any of them. I definitely do not like Marissa, though, because she's too fucking powerful. Oh, my you know? God. I fucking hate Marissa, bro. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, yeah, I always like her too much. <laughs> um, Ken is as Unga Bunga as you remember. You know, when Hello, you Unga you Bunga. <laughs> is that, you know what I mean? People probably hate me because I use Guile, and you know how Guile is. It's kind of like, wait, and wait till you come to me, flash kick, don't come close to me, stuff like that. Um... I like the drive system. To me personally, it's fine because uh, I'm a Street Fighter veteran, right? And so I get into the mindset of my opponents while I'm fighting against them. So if, I'm, if you're in the corner, if I'm in the corner, whatever, it, I, nine times out of ten, at least, like, I'm going to say eight times out of ten, I know the drive impact is coming. So I'm going to mm-hmm. react to it all the time. That's just me personally, right? I can see how people be like, oh, it's spammable, spammable and all that stuff. People do spam it. But I'm fine with it because they when they – I'm expecting them to spam it. You know what I mean? I'm expecting them to spam it. So when they spam it, I'm like, oh, I got to count on for a boom. I like when they spam it because they're being dumbasses and getting their asses people. Um, story mode is pretty cool. You know, I, I fuck with the arcade mode. I mess with the I mess with world tour mode. Pretty cool. It's exactly what they need to get like a more casual audience in along with, along with the, uh, you know, the modern controls. Like Mira said, modern controls may, modern controls may not be for everyone. You know, it, it takes place some of your... Uh, your tools, so I guess it'll be like cool for people like you know, people like Kalia who wants to get into it. You know what I mean? It'd be cool for people like her and everything. So oh, yeah. it'll be useful with her, or maybe I, I don't know. Don plays Don like- plays Tekken, but people like you. <laughs> I mean, it's not an insult, <laughs> right? Like that, you no, know? it's not an insult. But uh, Don okay. plays Tekken, so Don may be used to complicated controls. Who knows? You know, it's it'll vary people by person. I had but, a question you know, about I, that too. Like when you're online, do you- when you play on classic mode, do they pin you against other people that's playing classic mode, or you? Nah, can- you get the whole thing. They play, you get blue play classic. Yeah, and modern. Uh, <laughs> they mix. Yeah. Yeah. I never <laughs> lost to a modern player yet, though. That's the thing. Maybe because I'm using Guile, and Guile was like really heavy on the. I'm not gonna lie, like game. I hate fighting fucking uh, Ken with modern controls. <laughs> like fucking so annoying bro because literally know. all you do is press like square and he can do the sure the the uppercut shit and it's like bro <laughs> <laughs> you he's that bare yeah. bone like uh nah i don't like um i haven't encountered one of those yet but my the most annoying character that i fought so far and men, men, remember i'm like high in the ranks i'm already diamond so i'm fighting like 
I would show you, I'm like top 5,000 already in the game. You know how many people are playing the game? Top 5,000? I'm, I'm up there. I ain't trying to my own horn, but I'm fighting some sane ass dudes. And so, no, yeah. He, he's not lying. Like, the day the game came out, I think we were up to like 4 a.m. playing the shit. Like, <laughs> and like, yeah. Dude, they so, let's put that work in. The most mm-hmm. annoying character by far would be JP for me. I don't know if y'all know him, but JP. Uh, I didn't fight him. Wait, wait. That's the oh, dude with the cane, yeah. right? The, with the magic yeah, powers. The that, yeah. Oh, God. Hell yeah. He's fucking annoying, bro. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> like, yo, bro, he got unblockable moves. Like, you really can't yep. get out of those projectiles. Like, <laughs> He's annoying, man. It's like, he's the most annoying <laughs> character. And I actually lost against him. He, ran, he ranked me down one time. I was just that is his old ass, but yeah, he's a cheap ass know, motherfucker. Yeah, he's a cheap ass bastard. But so far, <laughs> I'm enjoying it. You no, know, if game runs pretty well on my PC, you no, know, I got a pretty proper PC, definitely stronger than the PS5. Um, you know, oh and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I'm enjoying it. You know, I can't, I can't wait to see what the game has to store later on down the line. I'm waiting for the a certain character. You know, the characters we got coming are like Akuma, Rashid, Ed, and some other new character named Aki. So I can't, I can't wait for those. I can't wait for the I can't wait to see how the game progresses and see how season two is going to go. So far, I'm enjoying it so far. Um, but yeah, you know, and if you're watching this, join my club. It's called Namekians. He more Namekians. I'm <laughs> waiting for Vega. I need Vega to come. Vega and Crimson uh, Viper. I need them to bro, come back. He, he's probably not going to come back, unfortunately. Vega, right? Yeah. He's probably not yeah, this, this game is definitely going to be around for what ten years. That's why I was going to say. Years. Yeah. Probably ten years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Instead of Street Fighter Five came out in twenty fifteen, I think, or twenty sixteen, and lasted until literally just last year. So I mean, yeah, oh. we get our money's worth, Danny. That's what it's called. Our money's worth. Please <laughs> save me the theatrics. <laughs> 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 nah, but that's well, the, one, the one the one thing I do want to touch on, like lastly, for people that's like interested in getting this, like this is definitely a game that requires a lot of training. Like, yes, you cannot does. go in this game and just <laughs> expect to just just win. It just, no, it's not working. no, you it does not. not. So Even you definitely have to take advantage of that training room. Yes, please take advantage of all everything they have in the training mode. They, it's robust as all hell. It's built for, for beginners, so please take advantage of it. Please do not get online and get destroyed. <laughs> That's good that you didn't override people with the modern mode versus classes. Yeah. I was worried about that. <laughs> it feels like the majority of the people play in classic, though. Yeah, the majority mm-hmm. of people playing classic. I've never okay. seen very much modern. Got you. I will say, y'all ain't tired of those people who be. Speaking in the background. What are they oh, doing? the announcers. The yeah. annu- nah, I fuck with them. No. <laughs> I fuck with the announcers. I fuck with the announcers. <laughs> like, what does the announcers do? Are they just, like, annoying or something like that? Or? I mean, nah, they just be, like, predicting the match. They be like, oh, he tried to do, like, an overhead. Or nah, it's, yeah, it's, it's like constant. It's, actual real-life announcers from, like, the fighting yeah. community and wrestlers and stuff like that. So, that would be cool. <laughs> well, I mean, it seems like uh, you guys are having a lot of fun on this game and uh, a lot of good vibes for uh, any new fans that wants to kind of join this uh, Street Fighter wave um, because it's like one of the biggest uh, fighting games of this year for sure. Um, and I think it retails at about, what is it, like 70 bucks? 60. Oh, 60? That's even 60. better. Yeah, that's even better yeah. for people to enjoy it. So, I mean, I, mean, and- I would buy it for 70 regardless because I'm getting my money's worth. So. <laughs> We we won't talk about prices today, Aaron. <laughs> um, but it's it's good that you guys got a lot of feedback. That's amazing. Um, but let's go on to our next one uh, for Diablo Four. I don't know if you guys ever happen to play any Diablo, but Diablo is a really big big game in general. Um, I personally never got into it, but I've always hear a bunch of fans. I got people at work that's actually really playing it now and enjoying it because they got that early access. Uh, if you pre-order the game, I think one of the deluxe editions, you get a couple of days in advance to access the game. And, you know, it's it's definitely what they kind of expected it. So I don't know if you guys took a chance to look at it, but I mean, what are you guys thoughts on it? Yeah, I took a look at it. Uh, I was never really a Diablo fan, and I don't know what the hype is about of Diablo fan. It's just like a, a mobile game to me. 
A mobile game. I'm sorry. Did you say mobile game? Diablo yeah, it's, it, not a mobile it, it's, game. It, it plays like one of those those mobile games like you play with, like, yeah. like like Clash of Royale or something like that. Or... Hey, you're over here, but you're playing like Tears of the Kingdom at 30 frames 720. Are you crazy? Nah. <laughs> that Diablo doesn't touch Tears of the Kingdom. All right. I agree with that. <laughs> I played a bit of the, the beta when um the when it first released on you know the test run you can play it early access or whatever it is it it it's not too bad of a game it's my first time playing a diablo game i never played the the previous ones it, it's it's interesting you get the like it's like a top over type of game for anybody that's new to the series and you get the you know it's like a rpg in a way you get to make your own sets and pick your own class and whatever and I like the, I do like the, the, the way you have to go through waves of like enemies as you enter like a new temple or a new area. I do like that aspect of the different combo attacks you get to do and dashes depending on your, your, uh, weapon set and everything. It's not too bad, but I didn't get to play too much of it. I just played like the, the beta version, but. It's not too bad of a game. It's not my type of game, but I can see why it has a big, big of a fan base. I would say that. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's compared to uh, World of Warcraft, but I, I always hear like a comparison to like those two. Yeah, yeah I think they're kind of different. Yeah, I brought I've, the I've PlayStation played some so. over World of Warcraft. I've played a little bit of uh, Diablo three. I tried to get into it. Like I played it a couple different times, and it seemed like an interesting game. But for some reason, I couldn't really get into it. And like, it's stay like boring, consistent. right? Yeah. At some point, I feel like I get bored with it. But I feel like that it could be one of those games where you're mainly meant to like run it with other people. I could just I, that could just be a me thing. But it, yeah, it gets true. boring when you're playing by yourself all day. So I I I just couldn't really get into it. I'd say as far as like the only. Uh, comparison I can make to, from Diablo 3, I mean, or just Diablo games in general to World of Warcraft, not really having played one myself in general, I'd say it's maybe, maybe just the overhead view of why you're playing, but I think in World of Warcraft, I'm pretty sure you can probably adjust that, like where your camera angle is at, but aside from that, I'd say World of Warcraft definitely has a much bigger fan base than Diablo. No, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I, agree. I agree with that. Oh, yeah. I, I do like the, the cutscenes by herself, too. Yeah, it had decent cutscenes. and It seemed like it had like a pretty good storyline, but like I said, I couldn't really like, get into it. And I think it's probably just from uh, the play style of it. I'm probably just not used to playing games like that. Yeah, and that's a good point. It does seem like a more of a, a team-oriented kind of game where you play with your friends online with. Yeah. It's probably fun that way. Uh, I see that. Kalia, you said you wanted to say something. Go ahead. Oh, so yeah, I um I did pre-order the game. Um, I like it so far. I think the writing is really well. And I feel like a lot of these games, if they just had good writers, would solve a lot of their bad um reviews. I will say, like it was the cutscene, the intro scene that really got it for me. Cause I played it um with I've I played Ramirez's version before I spent the money myself. <laughs> so I, it was the cutscene that ultimately made me spend the money um, mm. to do it. But I, I'll say, like, I didn't know that Diablo and Devil, like, I'm not religious or anything, but it's, it is a little devilish. <laughs> like, so I just. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I like the same thing. Yeah, I was like, like this is like a real satanic. I'd be like, oh, please, pr- God, please protect me because I don't know what's going on in this game, but I like it so far. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Aaron, have you any thoughts on it, um, Mir? I didn't get a chance. To, I didn't get a chance to play it. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't actually buy it yet. I was going to buy it next week, but Mir said it was really good. I'm I'm a fan of the of the series, so if it's anything like Diablo three and two, honestly, I'm I know I'm I'm going to enjoy it. But Diablo three, I had like the that some of the most funnest nights my friends just running around, you know, doing all these dungeons and everything. I loved it. So if it's anything like Diablo 3, I know I'm going to enjoy it. So nothing to say on it yet. But you know, I mean, like I said, if anything like Diablo 3, I know I'm going to enjoy it. 
I will say, I thought the fighting, the fighting to me feels a little mediocre. I don't know why. Maybe it's the, uh, the combat gameplay. The, the camera angle. I don't know. It just feels like I don't really got to do nothing. All I got to do is hold a button. But then mm. I did die. Definitely felt that. Then I did die fighting the first uh, boss lady. So I don't know. <laughs> It's 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 so weird that these like these type of games always have like the best fucking cutscenes ever. They do. <laughs> it's so it's so weird. Facts. Like you get you get sucked into the cutscene. Like oh damn, this game looks hot, and then you play the game. You're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> like, I wish this was a Netflix series or something. No oh, man. <laughs> no, we only need woke flicks. Uh, woke flicks. We need woke flicks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I think based off of the, how the cutscenes look in Diablo, I think it would probably make a pretty decent show on Netflix. I wouldn't say movie, but I'd probably they could, they, I'd say they, show. They could probably get away with like a uh, animated series or something. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like probably like an animated series of Diablo. I think that would have some pretty good traction. Yeah, because a lot of the cutscenes remind me of. I don't know if anybody else watched it, but it's a series on Netflix called The Love and Death and Robots. Oh yeah. Yeah, like some of the the CGI looks similar to that. Those cutscenes is like really high graphic, realistic looking. So I could definitely see them doing that, especially with all these game series, you know, being put into like TV shows anyway. Yeah, like so. League of Legends, that uh, that yeah. show Arcane. That, apparently, that yeah. was doing like really well. Right. Yeah, that's a good example. Or like uh, Castlevania, something like that. Oh, uh, Castlevania was amazing. Yeah. Um, Mary, what was your experience playing the game? Uh, yeah, so I've been waiting to get into Diablo for a minute. Like, I caught my eye when they remade the second one a couple, like, what was it, two years or something ago? Um, so I was supposed to pick that one up, but I never got a chance to. Um, but I played the beta, and the beta was really good. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the story in the game is great. Um, graphically, this game is amazing for what, like, for the type of game it is. Um, I think, yeah, the biggest misconception with Diablo is just like the the camera angle and the way it is. I'm sure if this, because it, I mean, it's just a, it's a. Um, there's a lot of echo in the background. I'm not sure who's unmuted. I think it's coming from Don. Uh, still there. Go ahead. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's a, uh, it's pretty much a, um, a, what is it? A, not a looter shooter, but it's a, uh, I forget the term for it. It's a, damn, what, what's the Destiny style game where it's all about armor? Like a, you would call it a dungeon crawler, basically. Yeah, right? dungeon crawler. Um, but it's like, it's really about gear. You just um, farm, you farm. Pretty much, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just like one of those a bunch of enemies, you know, you pick your class, you destroy everything. Um, I think the biggest thing about it though is like the story. I think like from from that perspective, I can see why a lot of people are fans of it. Um, because the story is really good. There's a bunch of content in the game. Um, and then yeah, like it, it just has that effect on like, you know, reward systems and stuff, like, like having the best armor, having legendary, the best weapons, you know, all that kite. Ki- like cool stuff from destiny and all those style games. Um, like I said, I like it so far. I, I think right now it's like at the high eighties on Metacritic. Um, and as far as the cutscenes, I mean, I'm not surprised it's from blizzard. They make quality games like world of Warcraft, uh, overwatch, like, you know what I mean? Their CGI's are always top of top tier. So like, I'm not surprised at all. Um, I don't really have any complaints for the game. I mean, I, I'd like, I think for like fans that are, aren't of the series, I think if it was in like a regular third person perspective, I think it would definitely draw more people in because it's not different from any other like loot, like looter shooter type of game. Like it's still, you know, you level up, you have to be a certain level for certain events, right. raids, whatever the case may be. You know, you're just grinding for the, the top tier armor and stuff like that. It's pretty much one of those type things. Um, it is completely different from World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft is like an, an open world MMO type of thing. Here, we just, a, a, like Aaron said, a dungeon crawler RPG. Um, and it only goes up to four players. So it's not like this huge open world MMO thing where you can just party it with like 16 people. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, over overall, I like it. I'm I'm now a fan of the series. It's good. good. It's good. So I mean, kind of a mixed bag on on the you know on the podcast. I think just in a mixture of uh, you know a little bit of not too much expectations, but at the same time, you know, we got some people that are actually excited for it. So that's good. Um, but for Diablo fans out there, you know, enjoy the kind, enjoy the game itself, and you know, definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts on on the game when it comes out. So moving on from that, um, we actually have a bunch of uh, you know new devices being uh, released with the MetaQuest. Uh, three coming out. I don't know if anybody's gotten a chance to hear about that release. And then yep. uh, Apple is announcing um, a new actual VR set that's expected to be on their conference. Uh, it's like a conference showcase that they're going to be showing at 1 p.m. Eastern time on June 5th. So I don't know if that's going to be like a kind of a game changer for Apple because I don't even think they've never even came out with a VR set before. So this is kind of very, very, very well overwhelming. Is I like to say it because I mean, this I, I kind of want to see like what that's going to be like for their kind of experience. And if they kind of, if you kind of think about it, they can actually have their own hub, uh, their own in, introducing their own kind of exclusive content if they can probably put it on that platform. So it'll be interesting. But what do you guys kind of expect from the these kind of two VR sets? Well, Meta Quest, Meta was already doing pretty good with their VR stuff. So I I expect them to do very well with a three and have a lot more um, features and stuff than the previous one does, as is to expect it because it's the third. Um, and as far as Apple, I feel like Apple can get away with it because their interface is just. I don't like Apple products, but that's the one thing I do like about them is their 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 operating system is probably one of the best. Right. So, so it's a I think e- they'll do. It's a little I easier that, for anybody, for anybody yeah. like trying to get into technology. But, but not not only it's easy, like it's it's just it's always it's crisp, it's nice, it 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 always like works well. There's you don't see as much stutter as as you would do with like Android stuff. So I think they will do pretty well with their their VR set. Now, as far as the games and stuff, I don't know what they're gonna come out with, um, and. They're, I, I feel like it's Apple, so it's going to be way more pricey than the Meta Quest, which is, that's going to be their problem. Yeah, most likely. In terms yes. of uh, price range, I don't even know what these actually are looking at, so, like retail so price. So, I, I've read on uh, this one place, it's called uh, Tom'sGuide.com, and they're, they're speculating, or it's rumored that it can run from... Like two to three thousand dollars for this thing. For the Apple or oh the Meta? Lord. For the Apple. For the Apple. Jesus yeah. Christ. I can buy a that's car for that price, money. guys. But but that's a that's a rumor. It says the early <laughs> it says from the rumors thus far, it says the headset is priced around three thousand dollars. Think about that. Yeah, because I just yeah. have that. And, I'm, and I'm pretty sure. Sh- and I'm pretty sure. I, I mean, I hope it's it's you know you can actually use it mobile mobily because I I swear I if you have to connect it to a a, a desk an Apple desktop to operate it. That's even going to be dumber. Yeah. So I, the the Apple ru- would never do that. <laughs> so the ru- they're not PlayStation. The rumors no. are it's <laughs> like <laughs> dumb from Tom now. Hold up. The rumors are it's it's got it has it's supposed to have twelve tracking cameras, a two AK displays. And then it has like some kind of diagonal thing, and then it's like another 4K, like you can downscale it or whatever. It's it's supposed to be like the best thing ever. That's why it's and it's supposed to be OLED displays. So I have no idea. There's this is all rumors. It, it could be off. It could be close to it. So I'm here for it. Mm. Um, I'm I'm definitely here for it. I think uh, I don't know about I, I don't see it being two three grand. I That's just not. outrageous. Right. Like, I don't not even like, I don't even think they're high end desktops or like two three. I mean they're up there. Yeah, they, but not they are like they three are grand. Cause, yeah, because um, at work we use the I have the newest Mac and that was like three grand. Um, yeah, but I, I don't I don't see a headset being that much. Um, the one thing I will say though, I think if Apple can make it a reasonable price, they can do. I it. think I, I I genuinely believe that Apple would rechange the whole VR landscape. I think that the Apple headset would probably outsell the Quest, every other VR device, 
because like, mind you, not only is Apple the most popular manufacturer in the world, especially when it comes to smartphones, but Danny, as you mentioned, like their ecosystem is so crisp and it's so Mm -hmm. like easy for everyone. Like, I don't think Apple would just, mind you, because it's Apple, they're going to deck it out. So they're going to make it where you can use all of your iOS stuff with this headset. You're going to be able to play the AAA games, you know, Beat Saber, all that stuff on here. And then again, they are going to come with the quality. So like in terms of resolution and everything, I think it's going to, I'm not going to, I think it's going to blow the MetaQuest 3 out of the water. Like just in terms of quality, simply because you get more out of it. Because like if you have an iPhone or whatever the case may be, being able to watch your favorite shows, even Apple TV, like all of this in the VR headset, they're going to find some way to make it like a very immersive experience. Yeah. So I think like, because even their Apple TV, like the Apple TV sells like fucking crazy. Like no one even buys any like Google Chromes or any, like most people just get the Apple TV, you know, and you have everything there. Um, so I, I'm hoping it's not a crazy price. I mean, five to $700 is reasonable, especially if it's its first model. I think it should be fine there. Um, but I did want to just touch on the MetaQuest 3. Um Depending on what the event from Apple is Monday, so if, if it's actually announced, I probably would hold off. But if the MetaQuest 3 is coming out, um, I probably would be interested in getting it. I've seen the bill. It says like it is supposed to be much more sleeker and slimmer. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, faster processor, better display, better resolution. Um, I think I just hope that they really improve on the battery life because I don't think the battery life on the Quest 2 was that great. It's, yeah, it's not that um, great. But just, you know, make it to where, like, um, your previous library, you're able to use it on the new one. Because I think, like, with the PC Oculus Quest, I don't think you can carry the same games over to the Meta, the Meta Quest or something like that. Like, the first volume of the headset, you couldn't play the second game. Like it was some shit like that where you couldn't play the the Oculus Rift games that you purchased on the Quest Two or whatever. Yeah, because that was, was like kind of dumb. Like it was like a different uh, generation or whatever. Yeah, so I'm hoping that everything is completely like like or and the do what PlayStation does, right? Like if I have the game, make it give me this upgraded version for free. Um, but my only thing is is like the Meta Quest is, was so popular because of the price point. It was three hundred dollars mm-hmm. for a VR headset. Now they're charging five hundred. I don't know if that's going to fly with everybody, especially if you have the Quest Two still. Yeah, I still have my Quest Two, and that, and I barely play it only because it like VR in general just gives me uh, motion sickness. And I try the settings and features that you can apply in the game to not to try to avoid that, and I still end up getting motion sickness. So I don't think I'll be playing VR anymore. <laughs> I don't like VR to begin with, so yeah, me either. I wonder if they priced priced it at that point because they seen that maybe they're using the same technology that the PlayStation is using for their VR too. Guessing maybe that's why they priced it at that. Uh, the technology they're using for this yeah, Quest Three. Yeah, the only thing I can get away with is like like anything you stand still in and you don't move the character or the screen, then I can get away with that. But there's not that many games. And I'm and definitely not into the VR. And it's funny because I was gonna say I think VR should make uh they should make like they have the hand things. I think they should make things like for the feet. And I think that would expand the amount of games and stuff that people can do on the VR. Cause I think sometimes just using your hands and just standing there is boring, but that mm. defeats your point, as you just said. So it depends on on the person, but I'm an Apple girl, so <laughs> <laughs> I own everything Apple. I think, like, I'm not, you know, I think stock wise, it it will increase how much the company is worth. But um, I I read somewhere, I guess it's a, it is a rumor as well that they are trying to ensure that all games currently on the App Store would be compatible, so like it wouldn't be anything like changed or whatever. But you know, we'll see on Monday. I think I do think it'll probably be high. I think Apple will probably price at least eight hundred, nine hundred dollars. Right, so. I could see that happening. Well, close, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Apple. A- Apple has that Apple Arcade thing that they can just they have their own gaming system thing like going yeah. on. Yeah. 
So it, I'm pretty sure they'll implement all that into the quest and make their own specific like first party games for the VR, and, for their. And I read somewhere like if this is a move that they'll probably highly invest in their Apple Fitness, which I think is really new. I don't know many people who use it, but um, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, that's, that's a good thing. point. Yeah, it's their name too. Like everybody has something Apple in their house. Like I'm not an Apple person, but the only thing Apple I got is this computer that I'm using right now to talk to you guys, and it's Mac, and that's only because I got it for free from my boss. But <laughs> besides the point, like everybody I know has something Apple, right? So I mean, uh, in terms of pricing, hopefully it won't be as too difficult for anybody to get their hands on some of these devices. Even though I I kind of fully agree with Leah when it comes to that Apple price is definitely going to be crazy. So, um, but I hope it's worth it. That's all that matters. I hope it's worth it if it's uh, that price range. And for the MetaQuest, hopefully, um, you know, the, like Mir said, the battery life can get approved. We could start seeing some new um, features on there that actually are worth the price. And, you know, the fact that we actually got another addition to the Quest, you know what I mean? Hopefully it's worth the price as well. Um, yeah, it's kind of, it, it might be kind of hard to for them to, to get the battery life because they, they slimmed it down. So the fact Terrible. that means the battery is smaller. Terrible. Then there's another reason why that shit won't sell. Right. <laughs> yeah. right. <laughs> um. Oh wait, but before we moved on, I did want to go over this, like some of the games that were announced for it. Um. So there's this Asgard Raft Two, which is like this. Like I've heard good things about this game. Uh, a lot of people are anticipating the second one. It's like a, a RPG in VR. Um, Assassin's Creed Nexus, Danny. I think you told us about this a little while back. Um, this is going to be pretty interesting. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Pretty-ness Nexus in VR. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's Stranger Things in VR that's coming out. That one looks really good. Yeah. There's Samba de Amigo. I know that's like an old school game. I think what was that on yep. Nintendo years ago oh, or something yeah. like that. Sega, Sega, Sega. Okay, Sega. Uh, f- one that I've been waiting for for the fucking longest, but Ghostbusters VR. We finally seen gameplay of that. That looks kind of cool. It's like a co-op in VR. I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, and they showed Power Wash Simulator. So if anybody's interested in that. That's like a uh, soothing game for some people. Now, what are the retail yeah. prices on those games? Uh what is it looking uh, like? I mean, probably... VR, like, VR has usually been around like $40, 40 Yeah. Bucks. Yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, that's reasonable. And actually, you get a lot of content when you actually get some of the games in there, too. It's Because um, even The Walking Dead, I think that was... Uh, it, it, yeah, it's... it's it, For VR, like the way that Meta had it set up for, for their VR system, their games, they've actually done it very well where it's not like half-ass games. They're legit, like, few hour games like they're they're worth the price only thing with it is is like some of the vr games be do be a little like on bullshit sometimes like <laughs> but you buy these bitches and then they're still like asking you just to get like for example beat saber right that's mm-hmm. the, probably the most popular fucking vr game of all time that's like the main i love I beat play. saber it's amazing but like the fact that they only give you like three different like uh types of like they only give you like it feels like they give you like thirty tracks to start off with, which it might not even be thirty. It might be like fifteen, which is which sounds like a lot, but like a lot of those aren't really soothing songs that will actually that you'll actually be excited about. Like a lot of the packs that you have to pay for, bro, it's just like fucking ten to twelve dollars, like to just to get like uh I don't know like a Lizzo pack or like there's this new queen pack that just came out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but no, like, but at the same time they let you purchase each track separately and they're like a dollar or two dollars. Yeah, I mean th- but that's cool too. But like for example if you're a fan of Green Day or Imagine Dragons, you know, most people is probably gonna try to purchase the whole pack. I think it's a little expensive for twelve fucking dollars for the whole thing. At least I mean, the one thing I will say though, the quest does have on sale a lot. PlayStation doesn't. Quest or oh, discount it maybe three dollars off or something. So instead of being twelve, it's like ten dollars. I mean, you got to think about it too. Like, it, it, like, like you said, uh, if you get like Imagine Dragons pack and it's only like twelve, thirteen bucks, which is fine because if you go and buy like their album or something, it's about thirty, forty dollars. You know what I mean? 
So and you're you're interacting with the game too. So I don't think that's a high price that they're asking for. And plus, they have to pay these guys because they're using their content. Yeah, hey, that's cool too. But the standard, I like the standard game should have enough. Like for a game that's on Beat Saber's quality, like they should have more popularized songs in the game. You know what I mean? Like whether you got to pay them or not. Like same thing with like synth riders. Like they don't have any popular oriented songs in there. You got to pay for the fucking packs. Kind of sucks. But yeah. You know what they should do? Like if a, if an artist comes out with an album, they should like promote it on there. You be able to play it and you get to own the album along with like the the pack you get. They should do yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, that'd be a good way, like to advertise their music. <laughs> All right, so I think that kind of wraps up that, and uh, just kind of moving on to the next one, which would be, uh, you know, uh, Silent Hill Ascension, which is another addition to the Silent Hills franchise, I guess, because I've never personally, I I didn't play the originals, so I don't know, like, if this one is like kind of, you know, taking part of like the franchise a little bit. Aaron so, might be able to elaborate because I know he played most of the Silent Hill games. I have a quick question. I actually didn't hear about this one. This one, this one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I have a quick question. So, is this is this supposed to be like a remake of the an yeah, the original, saying. or is this like a whole new game? I don't it's know. Let me kind of see if I could kind of share my screen there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I'm watching it. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just asking Don and Aaron, like, what's going? Where's the Silent Hill two guy? <laughs> But they had but they got they got Silent Hill to remake. They have uh Silent Hill. Is that confirmed? Like is that actually confirmed? I think yeah. so. Oh, your guilt. Yeah. It's so it's so a, thick. It the the streaming series. I was about yeah. to well, say they had like a showcase of like, earlier this year. I don't know if anybody has seen it with uh, Konami where they show like all the, the Silent Hill games and this is one of them. I think they just they just releasing them on a lineup. Like this is like one of the first ones they're putting out. And then it's gonna be one of the other like ones. Yeah, this looks like more of a Beyond uh, Two Souls or something like that. Oh, so it's like a Telltale game. Like it's it's a it's a choice game. I believe so. Yeah, I mean, I, I like the. Ask you, I've never played this before. Yeah, I mean, I like the creature thing. I don't know what that is. Looks crazy. Yeah, this is this is a uh, developed by Bad Robot uh, production. The graphics look like uh, about daylight. Yeah, yeah, that's what it reminded me of too. Yeah. Like, I was wondering if they gonna go up for more of an online feel or something. A co-op or whatever. They got like three, four different Silent Hill games coming. That's out. what I mean. I can't keep up with the you know how much is kind of going on there. Truth be told, I have never played a Silent Hill game. Uh, there at all. You might want to play two. I mean, no. hey, Aaron. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, they might want to play it's one, two, three, and four. They're all fucking you, good. You gotta, you gotta uh, watch. Yeah, I have not watch, of them. You gotta watch the Silent Hill movie first. <laughs> <laughs> the purple no yeah, You gotta watch the Silent Hill. Movie. The titty twister. The movie. Oh my god! It's, it's oh wait, no, no, I've seen that. Yeah. <laughs> it's still not fucking red. It's an idiot. Okay. Mm. Oh no, you're crazy. You're crazy. There was a oh. time where Resident Evil was on decline, as we all know, and then Tom, Silent Hill was eating its lunch. It's fucking Resident Evil. It's <laughs> crazy. I'm still waiting for them to put more stuff up for F on Silent Hill F. That's the one I'm waiting for. Uh, well, that's the thing is that these motherfuckers are putting these games, like these Silent Hill games out, like trailers and stuff, but they show almost nothing. Yeah. Exactly. Like they just keep leaving us in the dark. Like, what am I supposed to get from this? They want you to the modern day game, and that's what it is, man. Nah, they just want you to like, get your high hopes up because uh, you know Konami has kind of nothing going for them right now, so they have to put out something like that. Next, n- next thing you know, this this game's gonna look like Diablo. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be I'm over the top three quarter, quarter view. Like it's, a, it's not like it's an interactive type of game. It's not like a. Silent Hill was Silent Hill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, from here and what you guys are saying, it's like a like choice. Like they talk. Yeah. It's kind of like a quarry game. So, like, I'm assuming they're doing stuff like this just to get like the Silent Hill name back out there. You know, Silent Hill. Yeah, was, but like, this really is big back in the day. This is. I mean, hey, this, this, how, this how you going. do it. You got to build it back up. You know what I mean? Konami Not this way. Has been known. Konami <laughs> has been known for games for a long ass time. They 
like you remember Don said it. They've been known for making casino machines and uh, a bunch of shit. No, they've been known yeah, for yeah, games now. If you're gonna, gonna, you gonna be, if you're gonna try to bring a, a well-known game back out, you don't you don't make it like a choice game. You 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 make it interactive like any well, other. Well, they're Silent not. Hill. It's not only going to be. I think for example, I think Silent Hill lends itself well to a choice. I think it does. Mm. Now it's not gonna be the it's not gonna be the main Silent Hill no app no the dessert, you know what I mean? It's not gonna be like the main Silent Hill thing. It's just like a little side thing, you know what I mean? Come on yeah. I know y'all played Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City back then. Yeah, fuck that oh, game. Oh, so you're saying oh, so you're saying it's it's Metro Dre. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <bro. laughs> no, it's Metro no, Dre. It'll, it'll never touch the Metro it's Dre. It's Metro Dre. Metro Dre is it, bro. Metroid Dread Metroid, is a side, is a side project from yeah. Metroid Prime Four. No, yeah, but that's, that's we we probably gonna get another in between before we get Prime Four. How you gonna get six Metroid, Metroid we're, gonna get a, probably, we're gonna get six more different Prime. I mean, six more different Dreads that before we get Prime Four. Hey, all I'm saying that this is how you get the name back out there. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Yeah, because they they're also putting out like a remake to like the movies too. Like they're doing like a whole lineup of different series part of the. The Silent Hill franchise. And that's good because you may laugh at it, but like, look at, look at, look it up. Silent Hill has been considered Resident Evil survival in the survival horror space, and it's done some things better than Resident Evil. And Resident Evil is going that whole action route where like Leon can outrun boulders and Chris's punch boulders and shit. Man, going mm. that route, Silent well, Hill stayed with survival horror type thing. They kind of stay on the same way. track, yeah, yeah, yeah. Silent yeah, Hill's trying to yeah, be I think like. I can uh, see that. It's trying to be like Assassin's Creed, where they have like thirty different spin-off guns and it like branching off to different universes and shit. I thought what was comparable. <laughs> I thought what was yeah. comparable was Alan Wake. I actually played the the first Alan Wake the other day, and I was just like, "This feels like Silent Hill 2. Like, I don't know. It just has a lot of similarity. <laughs> Listen, I I try to play multiple uh, choice games like that. I don't even know what the term is for it. But I tried to play the quarry, and I played for a little bit. I got pretty far, and then I was like, you know what? I'm really bored of this. I'm not coming back to eat. <laughs> <laughs> so, would yeah. we say not, the quarry is boring? The quarry is boring. I'm not. All those games are boring. Yeah, all those choice games suck. Yeah. All of them. Has, until, anybody, until has anybody gone. played a bad robots game? Like their their vote. And this is slander. The quarry, the quarry is a great game I, as well as the, see, the quarry. I did, I did, I did, the I quarry did. probably. I the thought Until Quarry Dawn was has, pretty good. So the Quarry looks beautiful. Yeah, un- it, Until Dawn was great too. I didn't, see. I can't play those games. I fall asleep wa- like just watching the fucking cutscene and until waiting to Dawn get to a was point. Not great. Until Dawn, <laughs> bro, 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 I fall asleep. Game. Get trying to get wait into the fucking cutscene until I can actually okay. do something. I'm watching a movie for like twenty hours and I'm falling asleep playing this goddamn game. That's a movie that. game. That's what you call a movie game, Aaron. <laughs> talking about, yeah. I mean, I agree. That is what you call a movie game. I don't know about Last of Us. I don't know about Last of Us. No, we're not talking about Last of Us. Glory until dawn. You probably also thought Heavy Rain was a good game too. Are you crazy? That was a good game. Heavy Rain. That was a good game. Heavy Rain was a modern classic. Six dollar game, and it was a modern classic. Are you serious? Six dollars for a movie. For a movie. Now, I've been talking about with the off. God of War thing to a certain you, extent. I be you got to be careful, Aaron, too. You got to be careful because occasionally you get to move the character around. <laughs> yes, yes. <occasionally>. Every, <laughs> every once in a while, character. you get to move the carry around. That's where your $60 is. <laughs> That's yeah, exactly. Right? Yep, yep. Not, Man, not really. Game. Game's gonna be no more than three hours long. You pay 60 for it? Whoa. <laughs> No, 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 they got nice. multiple. Well, Heavy Rain got multiple endings. It, you, it's like the main story is like, I don't, I think it's like five hours oh, long. But guess what, Don? I played Heavy Rain, I played it on, on YouTube. I watched it. <laughs> I played it, it on YouTube. YouTube. If, you, if you think that I, I'm sitting there taking forever trying to get through the main story, you think I'm gonna play it again to get a different fucking ending? You gotta yes. be nuts. You gotta be nuts. Yeah, yeah, you, so so you gotta at least make it to where it's like no. I make it to where it's like I want to do it. Make it worth my while. Mm-hmm. Is it worth my while? Those I love those type of games like Detroit Become Human, which oh Rami and me to finish. Yeah. It was really good. I love those type of games, but I I'm only playing them once. I'm not about to do that for a different ending. I can <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> 
You could fucking YouTube the rest of them for free. Yeah. If anything, if anything, you could YouTube the whole game for free. Is that you're doing the same shit? You're watching it. <laughs> nah, Why not do it for every game then? At this point, exactly. Like <laughs> no, Jesus. it's critical it's thinking the game. You damn sure could do that for them damn Zelda games. No, yeah. Oh man, <laughs> no. You can damn sure do that. No, 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 you can damn, bro. You can go on YouTube right now and watch Breath of the Wild in like an hour. And yeah, but why you want to watch summarize, it? Like, summarize the difference the old is, shit. M- Mir, the difference is that Breath of the Wild is playable. Yeah, you don't sit there and watch thirty hours of fucking cutscenes just to bro, get to one question. No, like we, you go to the game and you just you just press one button and it takes you through the whole. You had to make a choice, and if you don't make the right choice, you you still die. It's not like you can just exactly. walk through the whole game. Not you know? interested. Not interested. <laughs> It's important <laughs> critical thinking skills. That's what it is. That's what no, I, it I, is. I, I, I You got critical thinking skills in. You got incredible. In, uh, yeah, critical Take thinking skills in Zelda too. What exactly. going from shrine to fucking shrine? No That's building shit. It. Like <laughs> to try yes. to get to different levels. Going from shrine to shrine to what's, get help. What's critical thinking about pressing the talk? Like what? I don't want to take. It's like, about decision making. It's about understanding the situation you're in. And being able to come up with the right Bro, decision. you don't you don't get solution. to those questions until like three hours later exactly. after the cutscene nah, is done. Nah, I don't they, they, want you to play, they want you to play. They want you to play the most mundane task, like brushing your teeth, washing up. Why well, I want to wash wanna... up? As, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I want to do that? Why I want to wash up a dude, man. Wash up. Are you serious? <laughs> listen, why, 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 listen. <laughs> I see, I see, I see your point. Like I'm not arguing against it, but I do like some of them. I don't like all of them, but I do like some of them. I definitely yeah. see your point. Now, the one that that could get some recognition would be uh, the Walking Dead series, the Telltale ones, only because they're. I feel like those are way more interactive than than any other uh, fucking choice game. That that's oh, the, the only. The, the yeah, the Walking Dead is like a comic book kind of kind of one. That's well, the one that like that one. You were like the Wolf Among Us. I think that's the most interesting. Yeah, about all that of one, I heard that one was good too. You but know, but I'm, talking, good I'm talking about like I'm you talking did. about Heavy Rain, Alan Wake, The Quarry. Yeah, like, on, yes, man. those well, look I, nice, I, I, but I but it's a I, fucking movie, bro. I don't think Alan Wake. No, is you get, you get the choice, shoot and, and Heavy Rain and everything. Like you get the point and shoot and everything. You you get to point and shoot every three hours. Nah, I played the whole <laughs> game. You get to make. Let's game. not forget. Let's not forget. Don also likes, you know, that one that delivery. Metal Gear Solid. Y'all can't say anything unless y'all played the whole game. So I don't want to hear it. <laughs> y'all can't say the whole game. He likes. He, he likes Amazon simulators. So. <laughs> and shooting as combat. If you say that, you got to say that about all the shooting games out now. So. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, it's funny. It was a uh, simulator. <laughs> <laughs> so is anybody excited for Silent Hill Ascension? No. Yes. Uh, we don't even know what's happening here, bro. Right. We don't. We don't know what kind of game this is. Right. I was about to say that. Like I, I said, with any other game, what's going on? Now, if it was Silent yeah. Hill Two Remake, I, I'm with I'm with you, Aaron, because I played. I, I'm still trying to beat two. So. <laughs> Uh, and I had yeah. to see gameplay like any other game, you know. I just don't want to see the cutscene. I want to see gameplay. Well, come on, yeah, Konami. So for, for, for your question, Nick, are are what are, are we excited for this? We have no idea. We don't know what the fuck we just watched. <laughs> Jesus Christ! No <laughs> idea. Jesus Christ, Konami! Can we actually get some more that's content? That's terrible. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm saying. Nintendo, you are, they already seen that Nintendo fucked up the first two trailers. And they got shit shit face for that. So Hell come yeah, on, yeah, Silent Hill, get it together. That, I I can give a rat's ass about Silent Hill. I'm not gonna lie. Damn. <laughs> he never they had a few good gets his point of few, They had a few good games, bro. They had a few good games. They paved not a few. A bunch. Right, that's right. They did pretty good. I'm gonna stay with a few. I'm gonna stay with the few. You're crazy. All right. <laughs> well, that's our expectations on that. And then also going over, uh, pretty much, I mean, I don't know if you guys already kind of noticed, it looks terrible. Uh, Lord of the Ring column. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't, I don't even. 
I can't even be serious. <laughs> I can't even be serious when it comes to this game because it just it doesn't look. I mean, the frames look okay, uh, but just him, he just looks like a scrunch face. Like it's I don't <laughs> like somebody. So just, wait, who who developed this game? I don't know. I some, think this was a bunch of new devs. Whack ass studio. <laughs> what made them think that this was good? I know that shit's crazy. The character I'm model is ridiculous, bro. That's that's what I'm saying. He just I don't know, man. It looks ter- I like when I looked at the trailer, I was just like, why? What the hell? Why does he look like that? He just I looks heard terrible. So much bad shit about this. I heard it was mad glitchy. The graphics aren't up to standard. <laughs> I heard that like the combat is super dull. Like and like most of the time, the 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 because it's very stealth oriented. But like a lot of the times, the en- the enemies still see you, even if you're hiding in in their. I think position. I think you could turn invisible the game's because broken. I like, think you you could turn invisible because you have the ring. I think he has the ring, right? Let's. Like that's I think that's the only thing he could do. Like besides, like you know, blend in and that's all. But that's I don't know. Other than that, I just I, I've kind of been seeing some things all, like <laughs> I really don't like, go to the rings and make it make this fucking game with boring ass combat. How the fuck do you? Get I don't know. It was it was such a bummer because like Lords of the Ring has been and wasn't this shit in development for like years? Yeah, yeah, it was. That's I think, actually terrible. That's I think that that somebody, somebody's boss walked up to the the fucking developer was like, "Yeah, Sean, that looks good. Put that out." <laughs> because it holy just, shit, this, this was this was is to make things worse is that the pricing is fucking like, still like what sixty bucks. I'm not paying sixty dollars for that, man. <laughs> I mean, if, it, if it's as bad as you guys say it is, I sixty bucks. I would refuse to pay that. Yeah, this, I'm looking at I'm looking at all the games that these guys develop. I don't know a damn thing on this list. <laughs> I would <laughs> not trust these motherfuckers at all. And this <laughs> is no, information that I need. It's so sad because oh, no. they also put out Lord of the Rings Heroes in a middle. Bro, this shit should have just came out on last gen. I don't even know why it was on PS5. Yeah, I know that kind of just made things worse. (laughs) It's just gonna add to Aaron's PS5 slander. Yep. (laughs) He said yep. All right. Well, getting off (laughs) that honest about it. Getting off that, whatever that was. Um so for I think a lot of people I don't know if anybody's going to be really excited for um upcoming Xbox showcasing uh which was uh, when did they just announce this uh because we didn't get this until like after I think the PlayStation one right I don't know if uh yeah, we did. No, I think this one I thought it was been announced for a little while now Is it? Uh yo I it, haven't it, heard it, was it. it was announced it was announced for a while now um so we didn't get it till after they but no Okay all right so we knew, so, we knew about it. All right, we so we didn't, we just didn't like we knew about we knew about it, but we just didn't get a date. Like I think that was well, we, 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 yeah. we knew about it, we just wasn't excited about it. Is the thing. Yeah, yeah. After after wet fall, ha, 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 <laughs> <you> go. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. So so I'm lo- so I'm looking at the list, right? So there, like I have no hope, but I want to say I do have hope. Like, bro, Xbox, they have to do something better than what Sony did. I'm sorry. They, like, <laughs> we, like, bro, we have to see Hellblade 2. There's no, there's no, like, we have to see this. Like, Watch we need to won't. see this. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys remember that game that was announced like three years ago, but it was called Stalker, Stalker 2. Oh, we yeah. We need to see that. We need, oh, yeah. bro, Fable. Where's Fable was announced back in 2020. We need to see Fable. Uh, That's State where of Decay I like to go better on. Um, what else do we have here? Now, I'll play some um, State of Decay new, 3. The new For- Forza Motorsport, what is it, 9, that's supposed to be announced. Um, yeah, Hellblade 2 should be there. Stalker 2. Um, obviously, I'm expecting to see more Starfield gameplay. Um, I that's think the last one, that's showcase the one I think is going to show. That's going to be the last yeah. and final. That That's going to be like the last one they show, probably. Which is fine because that first that first display of it, that game was really fucking good. Like Starfield was good. And hold up, it's Bob Bethesda, so expect the sixty-five gigabyte patch day one. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, this is about to be like two hundred gigs easily. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus, yeah, easily. 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 I have to buy some expansion storage. You talking, um, about, <laughs> you're talking about you talking about a thousand planets? Come on. 
I I'm think about to see what they what they want to do with Halo Infinite. They want to like expand on that. And, you know, Isn't that it, dead? But, Didn't that it's die? It's dead, but like you know, it's still one of the bigger franchises. So like, maybe they can no. Well, it. apparently, uh, Starfield. Uh, side note: I swear, if they give us, if they update, if they give us a fucking sixty frame per second patch and talk about it doing you no know, for Redfall, if they talk about Redfall doing this, man. I'm turning it off. <laughs> they're going to do that. They're, they're going to be like, yeah. you could play Redfall at yeah. 60 frames now. Now, Aaron, are you so, going to be playing your so, Switch while you're watching it? So, I mean, that's not why I'm watching it. I mean, <laughs> so, I remember last time. I mean, you so, talk about it. Talk about it. I'm turning it off. Aaron, do you have Xbox an Xbox? So, I have an Xbox. No, they do own Bethesda. If they talk about Doom, like Doom, wait, I'll, fucking, I'll, wait. I'll get in. So, so, I pulled up a better list, right? So, this has more of exclusive games that were announced like a couple years ago before the series X came out. So, I mean, bro, we're three years in at this point, like they have to have some stuff to show. Like, so for example, I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a game announced back in 2021. It was called evolve. Um, this game looks kind of good. It's by obsidian. Um, it, it's, it's another fantasy type, uh, first person game. Um, so that's one of them. Then we have Starfield. Uh, Fable is expected. Fable has to be there. Like, bro, this shit's three years ago. Like, ah. like I, I need to see, even if it's not coming out this year, I need to see gameplay. Um, again, the new uh, Forza Motorsport series. It's not going to be Horizon, but it should be like Forza Motorsport 8 or something. What about new uh, Gears? Hellblade 2. No, no, no Gears? I Probably, if anything, it might be a CGI. Um, now this, I don't know if we're going to get this. We should. I mean, this was announced in 2018, but the Elder Scrolls six, I know that they might not that, do it because <laughs> Starfield. Yeah. yeah but El- Elder, Elder Scrolls six is right in the side, right next to uh prime four. I feel like we're getting this. Well, all right. So I, the based off of what this heading says here, it says that, because of how in depth that the last Elder Scrolls was, and they they're saying that they're truly going to utilize the power of the Series X, they're saying we might not expect to see this game until 2026, 2027 early. That's what I'm saying. Oh, that um, sounds about right. So this might be one of those last gen before we're we're truly going to showcase the power of the console before we move into the next. Just stupid. Um, Why'd you wait so long? Arc two is so another one. Uh, expensive and they're not very talented. <laughs> they're um, not very talented. I'm Starker an advocate two. of stop, stop showing shit if it's not coming out within the next year. It's annoying. I know. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So right. Stop. We yeah. need to stop talking shit about fucking Metroid. Then. Metroid Prime. Aaron, <laughs> nobody's, nobody's talking about you or that yeah. Switch. Okay. Let, <laughs> let's just let's just say Metroid Prime is is not no longer it's not going to exist. It's no longer in the Bro. books. It doesn't. We didn't even. Yes, Bro, yes, we didn't does. no it don't. We didn't even get a CGI. We just got a <laughs> bro, we just got the title screen for it. That's what <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. In, in development. does things differently. We don't show games and, that like aren't ready to be brought out. Like, come on now. Greatness, Aaron, uh, Aaron has great. so much hope for it prior great, for it. Greatness takes it's, time. It's crazy. Greatness yeah. do take time. <laughs> <laughs> not th- not this long, goddamn. I know, right? <laughs> um after that, yeah. So there's there's speculation that the outer worlds too. It's supposed to be an Xbox. Uh, the first one didn't exclusive. even do good. Um, and then after it's that, okay enough, right? This is what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for the Perfect Dark reboot. So hopefully that's yes. going to be there. Yes. Um, and then we have Everwild. This is supposed to be uh, a game from Rare. I'm not sure if you guys remember Rare, um, but this is one of the games they're working on. And then there's supposed to be Warhammer 4000, which is a newer version of it. I think that's uh, the one that's that we've been talking about for a while. Expected to be there too. Wait. Wait. Wait, didn't Rare do uh, Donkey Kong? Uh, I don't know. Did they? Yeah, they do. They did. They, they made the old Donkey Kong. I know they did yeah. Killer Instinct and stuff like that. Yeah, they did Killer Instinct yeah. too. Yeah, you're talking is about War, Donkey Kong and Diddy is Kong. Warhammer. Yeah, Warhammer four thousand forty thousand Dark Time. Yeah, that's the one we we talked about on the podcast before. Bro, what if they say that we're gonna keep it short and oh, yeah. we could? Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't work on any other game because we were too busy on Starfield. Survive, man. I mean, shit. As long as Starfield is a hit, fuck it. Right. <laughs> no. No. no, no. 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 When is that? Those games you announced, man. No. What are we expecting? I nah, think bro. a release date. Nah, we can't do that, bro. Nintendo gave us fucking Zelda in the past six years. 
No, like, no, what else they no, drop? no, no. I don't want to hear shit about Astro Chain. No, I don't want to hear shit about Astro Chain. No, I don't want to hear shit about Astro Chain. Come on, I can go nope. on. And nope, on nope. I don't want to hear shit about that. Nope, nope, I don't want to hear shit. No, that's not the... What? We... Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, not, it's, it's not true. They gave us Metroid Dread. They gave us games after games. Nah, bro. What? We've bro. been eating on the Switch. That's because you over there on the Xbox having to play. I don't know, bro, a- Xbox has been yeah. starving everybody, bro. <laughs> it has been starving. Bro, has Xbox been. is going to come I, back. I want more, than, I want more than just. Bro, Red Starfield, Starfield. What if Starfield comes out and it blows everything? On Nintendo and PlayStation, that would be board. crazy. No, oh, that's definitely that's definitely not gonna happen. <laughs> that can yeah, happen. That, 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 happen. Can, that can easy, bro. That can easily happen. Like the scale of Starfield, that can easily happen. Yeah, I feel it's like you got too much though. hope for Starfield, man. It's, it's bro, probably gonna look. It's kind of probably gonna be like, uh, what's that other game? Uh, what's that fucking game? Just that's out. S- Sky something. No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. No, oh, that's disrespectful, bro. That's yeah, that bro. reminds me. Disrespectful, bro. I'm, I'm saying, I'm oh, saying, like, no, from here, I'm saying, <laughs> what, if, what if, I say you got too much hope for it. What if it turns out like No Man's Sky? In terms of what, like the re- perception of it or just like? Just everything, just everything. What if it's like close, just, just like an Xbox version of No Man's Sky? I, I, I don't see that. The gameplay looks nowhere near as bland as No Man's Sky. I, I just don't see it. They're saying this is going to be the biggest game on a scale of like open world they've ever made. They're saying like, bro, there's more than fucking a hundred planets in this game. Like that's why it's it, there's why that's why it's single player specifically. Like, come on, no man, no man, uh, Sky promised the same thing though, man. Bro, nobody gives a fuck about that game, bro. Well, it's No Man's Sky came up real quick. They did all the updates they needed to, and you could have multiplayer, and you can go to like No Man's planet. Sky is like Sea of Thieves, in my opinion. It's the same shit. It's a little better than Sea of Thieves. <laughs> <laughs> sea of Thieves, sea of Thieves is in the sea, like it's it's below, it's below ground. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> but, exactly, but sea exactly, of, Sea of Thieves, it's not good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm hoping to see because I know uh, Nia Kojima just partnered up with Xbox, so I wonder if they can make an exclusive game over there. You don't want that hack making mm. game. I know, and I know, I know. You don't no. like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we 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 don't need any more uh, death stranding. No. No. <laughs> I, w- I would be be really interested if they show something like that, or like like uh, Mary said with uh, Hell's Blade. I'm really curious about that. Oh so yeah, I'm they curious. do have Hell's Blade. That's a really yeah. good one. Second one, yeah, right. it's looking really good. And then that's like the only two for me that will save it. Bro, I'm telling you now, bro, if they start the showcase off with like Hellblade 2, the rest of the show is going to be fucking fire. It's that simple. It's, it, you heard, bro, you heard it, it's that you heard simple. It to, from Ramir. <laughs> bro, if they start it off with a game, a first party game that's been in development for a while, they have to have the rest of the stuff cooking. There's no way. What are they going to do? PlayStation, they're going to show a bunch of fucking third party shit and then end it with Starfield. They Probably. can't do that. No, Xbox, Xbox is going to show everything that PlayStation showed. That's why they were bitching like, oh, bro, we got those games on our our roster already. Yeah, that's pretty much why no, they were bitching. Like, <laughs> show a bunch of PC games, the indie games. Did Direct already, did, did they uh, show anything for Nintendo this year? Or no, not yet. No, Tears of the fucking kingdom. <laughs> that was a whole separate <laughs> thing, bro. That's all you need. That's all you need. No, nah, wait, no, they did. They wait, What did they show earlier? What They showed Pigment 4. Uh yeah, the bad night of shit that came yeah, out a couple months ago. For, yeah, we got what else? Where else we got? We also Wait, got Xenoblade um, DLC, a new yeah, Mario Xenoblade Kart DLC. character. The well, Mario Kart character. We also got uh the Bayonetta game. We got um Advanced Wars, which you said you liked, but you was hard as shit. Nah, that game really is hard as fuck. <laughs> yeah, we got we got games, man. We got games. <laughs> the thing is, Nintendo fanboys are dumb, so you can like kind of like show them anything; they'll be happy for it. Like, yeah, you just show him a Fire Emblem character and they hype the shit. Yeah, oh, my, fire, oh my god. Fire Emblem this isn't even good, though. But, but Xbox, Xbox is fighting yeah. against the, the common... The common Aaron, he just disrespected your whole existence, bro. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? He, he said, said, was, fire, emblem, to that. fire Emblem sucks, bro. That was the message. 
I mean, like I like I said, you're playing a game that's like 30 frames and like you know, <laughs> down and also 720. So I mean, you really talk at this point, man. I mean, you're mm, you and your shot, you, like, you and yeah. your your chess playing games. Let me move this character <laughs> over here. Nah, it really is <laughs> like that. These two bump into each other. No, thank hey, you. Man, listen, all I'm saying is that Xbox has. Xbox has nothing, to like, nothing. They, they have nothing, nothing, but they're fighting against the <laughs> They're fighting against what the common, they like, this bad way? narrative against them. Like they, the, the whole joke around, oh, Xbox has no games, which is that's like a bad joke, honestly. It's, it's a good joke because they really don't. It is a no bad games. joke. That's games, not true, though. though. Like, yeah, that's, that's, that's right. not really true. But, not but really let's true. let's be honest. Like, for the, even for those that who don't have an Xbox, right? I'm pretty sure you would be interested more in the exclusives that are coming out from Xbox than what Nintendo has. What else no. are we really? All right, so well, Aaron, outside no, of you, no, 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 no. what 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 else are we getting from Nintendo this year? I right, just wait to wait wait till they come out with a direct. No, 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 yeah, no. So, so, so for everyone, wait, 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 no, no, no. So for everyone else, so it's like for Danny, Don, Nick, Angel, what else? What else do y'all expect from Nintendo? So like out of everything, mind you, out of all the games that I mentioned that are coming out on Xbox, you really think mm-hmm. you'll be interested in more of Nintendo exclusives outside of everything that I said on Xbox. So we're talking yeah. about we're talking about Fable, we're talking about Stalker Two. We're oh, talking as of, about as of, like, as of right now, then no. Like in this yeah, instance, right yeah, yeah, no. I, just, I think That's Nintendo got better exclusives right now. Yeah. yeah, right right now, yes, uh, Nintendo has better exclusives, but if. If Microsoft goes with everything that you're saying and they actually come out with this shit and they say that yeah. it's coming out this year, then yeah, yeah. Xbox will be rising back up. Then yes. Yeah, well, but I, as I of, agree with that. But, but as of right Xbox now, we're in the dark with, with everybody. Yeah, but as of right now, we have this is just predictions, bro. They no, could come out right. with you're shit. Right. No, you're they right. They could come you're out right. with nothing. No, you're right. You're right. But I think if all this stuff was to come out, that would put them right back on top. Yes, even, yes, I agree. Arguably, with you, yes. I, w- I would even argue over PlayStation. I it's it easy, might be a stretch, but over PlayStation. That's gonna be leaps and downs. They gonna need PlayStation. Aaron, PlayStation Aaron, me, up, bro. <laughs> me and Aaron are usually here, and then he says something about PlayStation, and he's back <laughs> out here. <laughs> <laughs> now. If they come, now, if they show Doom, you got me. Like the next Doom game, you got me there. I, hell yeah, you got me. <laughs> come on now. Yeah, yeah. All, Doom, Doom is really good. So, all you're saying, Doom Aaron, is, is that you need Dune and Wolverine, and you're good for both of these platforms. I, you got me. You got me <laughs> by the balls. <laughs> all right, now, Wolverine, Wolverine, is, all Wolverine is announced. <laughs> you guys heard it today. <laughs> you guys no, heard Wolverine's it. With Aaron only, Wolverine's only going to be on PlayStation. That's what he's. That's what. That's what Nick said. He yeah. said, "If you get Wolverine and uh, Doom, then you will have the Xbox and, and you have the PlayStation. PlayStation." So we won't. So we Aaron, won't. Aaron, Aaron will get both systems. PC, no doubt. Doom is coming day and day to PC because Xbox are idiots. And right. you know, yeah. you know, Wolverine. You no, know, if all I got away is two years, do I really need a PS Five? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "I'm willing to wait for this." <laughs> We still got uh, Final just, Fantasy. Just, we still got I Final Fantasy under, 16 coming out. I don't understand how you can be a potential rebuyer when you're always negating the fact to buy a PlayStation. Like if, wait, your wait, logic, wait. if your logic is, oh, well, I, I'm a potential rebuyer of a PlayStation, they have to wait, do wait, something wait, 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 wait. for me to get the PlayStation again. But when they do, you're like, well, I'll just wait for PC. All right, like, Aaron. <laughs> it literally Aaron. negates the fact of getting a PlayStation. Like, so you're te- <laughs> you're, you're telling me. That if Wolverine comes out for PS5, you get the PS5, and then you finish Wolverine, you're gonna re- resell the PS5. I mean, if they don't come out with no uh, no more good games, that joint going right back to GameStop. <laughs> you gonna get a dollar wow. from GameStop? <laughs> you might as well just wait the two years, and instead of getting the PS5, just wait till it goes on PC. For all that, you know? we already got Ratchet and Clank, didn't we? Yeah, they're moving it to Steam. Yeah. Damn. From what I'm predicting, I'm thinking Nintendo's gonna be in first place for a showcase, then PlayStation in second place, and then Xbox. You know that. No faith in Xbox, huh, Don? God damn. Yeah, yeah let's say you show that Kojima. I don't know. <laughs> 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 right. Don't well, say nobody wants another Death Stranding. <laughs> no, no, but I got, I got a, I got a theory though. Like, I, what if the CEO was pro- 
low playing the you know the the whole thing with uh, Redfall. Like he was just putting it down just to surprise us with this showcase. He'd be like, "Oh, I got you guys." I got that's kind of fucked up though. Yeah, but that's <laughs> fucked up because that means Redfall took it out for nothing. Like I know. <laughs> <laughs> like so you got Red, Like Redfall definitely had potential. Like it had potential. And it, I don't know what the fuck happened. It went through a fucking grinder, bro. You know what happened? You know what happened? But there's the whoever the fuck the sub team for Bethesda, Bethesda, they fucked up their game. They and fucked they, up the damn art they, style. They, the art style they, is trash. They sent it over to the wrong people. <laughs> art style is trash. Bro, the art style is the worst part about the game. Like, I don't think I ever see potential in that. I see it as the same as Donald. I was like, this is not going to go anywhere. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's, not, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Oh. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I'm not for myself. All right, well, I think that's um, that's kind of our expectations. I think it's coming out on June 11th for the Xbox showcase. I don't know exactly the time frames, I think. Uh, what are we looking at? I think, um, what is it, like 4 o'clock? Sometime in the afternoon, probably. Get that for you it's guys. It's usually usually around that in the afternoon, yeah. On a Sunday too. Yeah, it actually falls on a Sunday. It's actually really good. Uh yep. So actually it's not. It's actually gonna be really bright and or well, actually no, it's one o'clock PM. That's uh Pacific it's not it's, it's not gonna be good for those church people because they're gonna be at church. Nah, nah, they'll be they'll, they'll be in a safe place away from the Xbox. Showcase. They'll, be the <laughs> <laughs> they'll be in a safe place. Yeah, so it's uh, so it's um, the Xbox Games uh, Showcase is going to be taking place at one p.m. Eastern time. You can watch it on YouTube, uh, Twitch, and everything. Well, you can actually come here on uh, the, the Couch Crunch Podcast channel. We're going to be uh, live viewing that. So, um. But that's a that I think that's about it. And then uh, also let's close out with uh, so pretty much we talk a lot about just <coughs> devs in general, right? The thing is, is that are these devs taking too long to make quality games, or are their expectations too high? Like you know what I mean? Like so, are, in a way, it's like are we being impl- uh, impatient? You know. I, so from my standpoint, it's it's like a double edged sword because yes, being impatient, but at the same time, you know. We can't control certain things that happen. Right. You got to make sure it's right. You got to make sure everything is correct. You know what I mean? Um, so you can't just... Lo- Even though these, these devs for uh, PlayStation and Xbox and shit have been sometimes letting out literal shit. Yeah. Uh, I just think they that just, they're not spending enough time. That's that's all it is. Like, yeah. So it's it's either you're taking too long or you you didn't have enough time. time. Well, it's so. the publishers with these ridiculous ass deadlines. They want when the, like the EA wants a game like a Star Wars game out within like the coming out next to the, like the next Star Wars movie. Right. They want to push for that. They, I, they want that out there. I was gonna say, yeah, they, 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 they got to stop rushing the 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 deadline, right? Because then that rushes the devs, and then that's when the devs fuck up, right? Because I was gonna say, like, um, pretty much if they have to meet that that deadline, they don't even know, like, they can't go exceed past that deadline. That that's the only shitty part is that these devs are probably are given not they given can, enough they, time, they, they, and they're not giving enough time, they, and it's just like that's kind of why some of these games come out like that. Sometimes we do get delays, like three delays on one game to and then fix the, the problem. Shit. But then they don't even <laughs> fix the problem. Sometimes I, mm-hmm. they don't. They I don't. think that's the thing. I think some. I think like it, it depends on the game. Like for example, like if it's a direct sequel to something, I think three to four years should be max. Like if it, it literally like for example like god of war like that was perfect timing like from 2018 to 2022 that because like it literally is just stemming upon 2018 so there's not that much they have to change mm-hmm. same thing with like uh spider-man right like spider-man was the like, miles morales that came out in 2020 and now we're getting a new one in september three years that's reasonable but like if it's a brand new ip or something like I don't know because you can't really because think about what what if if time is needed. Well, what happened with Cyberpunk? Yeah, right? that, that, that game that game that game was in development since like 2011, bro. Like, there's no reason why that, that like 
But then certain games are completely fine because, you know, we get Grand Theft Auto 6 within the next couple of years. And now, you know, t- what is that? What are, we'll be 10 years yeah, in they, September. They are we'll taking be 10 off. years in. This is fucking it's insane. No. Not even bro, 10 I'm years is crazy. Yeah, it's it's start- 10 years to make that game. It, the problem, the thing is, though, they wanted to ride on the coattails that went so wild. Because it still makes the money and still hits the top of the charts. Mm. So they probably yeah, got those yeah. Yeah. transactions. Maybe five years ago, if anything. Got those I market transactions. I, I, think they I blame capitalism. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good thing, capitalism. Capitalism is good. <laughs> yeah, just like Khalia said, like I, I would say, like a year, like you should announce something, and then like the next year you should put it out. No, it's like no, if you're not ready, no, like no, three no, years, no. four years down the line, don't announce it. Yeah, do what, do what Nintendo does. You show you nothing until like a month before. <laughs> Agreed. No, we don't need Nintendo showing us two two fucked up trailers first, and no, then a that, third. No, one. that was dumb. Right. That was dumb. <laughs> that was dumb as shit on their part. I'm still waiting dumb. for Super Mario Odyssey the sequel. Yeah, no, no me too. Wants that pack. I'm waiting for Mario. Bond. I want that Seriously. shit. The first one was That's good. What That's what I'm waiting. No, it's Aaron's waiting for Prime Luigi. Four. Yeah, we probably ain't never but, getting that shit. <laughs> the thing, no, watch. You say they ain't never gonna get it. Watch. How much you bet they move the development to the next Switch or whatever? Well, but that's dumb, though. Bro, that's dumb as fuck. That's good. Bro, the game was in that Metroid game at the release of your new console. What? That's smart. That's that's not smart. Like, why would you let... Bro, they announced the game in 2017. They said it was in development for the Nintendo Switch. So why are you going to wait till a next-gen console to... Like, you basically lied to us for fucking almost 10 years. barely handle a cartoon looking game like Zelda. But That's why would they really announce it when the Switch came out, though? They literally shut- announced it during the same year. To shut people like me and you up. That's oh, why. No. Like, no. No. That's so because dumb, bro. Because they <laughs> fucked up. They fucked up. That's why. <laughs> they may- maybe they did. But you know... They're like, know, damn, we should have never announced that. <laughs> but Retro isn't that big of a developer. They First, they switched developers, right? It went from apparently rumor has it, Nam- Namkai Bando back to Retro Studios. So you know that's like you don't know how far along they were with Metroid Prime Four, Namco, Namco Bandai. So they probably could have started the entire thing. Let's be real here. One, how much money is Nintendo willing to like advocate to Metroid Prime? It's not one of their best selling series or whatever. So like they're not going to put all this R and D into it like they do with Mario or Zelda. So like they did with Metroid Dread and Metroid Prime <laughs> Remastered. Metroid Dread mm-hmm. was made by. A different studio and Nintendo smaller, still funded it. it, it yeah. Yes, but they, it was a smaller yeah. scale, smaller scale game. Metro Prime Four. <laughs> it don't matter. They 3D, still funded it. <laughs> Semi open world, 3D <laughs> realistic graphics, running it, trying to get it at sixty frames per second. All this story beats and everything. Like it's it's a different type of Nintendo game. That's why it probably taking so long. But let, let it let it cook. You know what I mean? Let, let they it cook. they not even working on that game, man. They just left it in the dark. You don't know that. It's, it's know that. probably still it's probably still how it was in 2017. Like, yeah. I mean, like, I, how much you bet? I mean, not how much you bet, but Starfield probably won't even be half as good as it probably could be because they probably low key rushed that game. Low key. No, Starfield been for like it, 20 it. years now. What, you said Starfield was in development for 20 years? Yeah. 20 Holy years? Shit. Yeah, a long time now. Check ain't gonna be garbage. Damn, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> but it takes, takes that fucking long. Shit. And it, and it kind of brings up the question, too, because I recently seen news on the Fractions 2 for Last of Us. They said they had to delay that recently. And I'm kind of worried now. Yeah, I'm uh, worried now. Speaking of Last of Us, they they uh, like low key announced that they're doing a. Uh, it's rumored that they're doing a part three of Last of Us. As long as Abby's gone, cool. <laughs> well, no, yeah, Abby, Abby's, Abby's gonna be one of the main characters again. No, <laughs> yeah, and it's gonna it's gonna be amazing, just like the other two games, because it's Naughty Dog. But one yeah. of those weren't amazing, so let's not go too far. Yeah. That, that that's me worried though, because yeah, that's probably what they're doing. They probably instead of working on fractions, they went to the third one instead, because they said they're working on another game, and they put that on hold for some reason. 
I don't get why they said that. Then they announced it last year. Like, what? What's the point of doing that? This is this just goes to the point. Like, yeah, you should just announce it a year before, and then release it. We're both impatient, but also patient enough. It depends on the publisher at this point, honestly. So, to. so what's the excuse for? If that's the case, what's the excuse for Overwatch Two? No, no, first of all, that's under what Activision, right? Blizzard owns Blizz, Blizzard. I mean, not Blizzard. Activision owns Blizzard, right? You should have known yeah. what that was sitting for, man. Come on, man. You should have known what that was sitting. For. Bro, Overwatch sure Two was in fun. development for like since like 2018. Why is there no yeah. PVE? Hey, man. Hey, listen. They got their player base. They had like the biggest Absolutely. opening for a multiplayer game That's ever, fine. right? Like, come on now. <laughs> they got their player base. They, they're cool. They're fine. Didn't it recently shut down or something like that? Uh, they shut down. No, I they shut down. I think they shut down the. They, they nah, they just ended the, the PVE stuff. The PVE. Uh, stuff. The, PVE. the whole reason for the game exists, they no longer exist. I mean, like. That's wild. They, they, they got Mira, though, didn't they? Didn't he support them in all that um, in game battle pass <laughs> shit? So, Jesus! I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I like how that it, they got me with that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they got you. When that couldn't have been me. Couldn't have been me. Say that. God damn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is not looking too good for his like development yeah. era. Mm-hmm. Man. As what do you think, Nick? Get bigger as 4K uh, texture become the norm. As we all strive for 60 frames per second, games will take longer, and development will go a bit more crazy. Especially as they start to like, as they start to like develop for higher end PCs. I mean, come on now, consoles PS5 as good as it is can't match a real high end PC. So I mean, then they gotta scale it down and all that shit. I mean. Yeah, but it's you and everybody, the average person ain't out here buying a high end PC. So that's, that's a small true, percentage are, of people. But the, the target platform, depending on the franchise, will always be the PC. That's, that's not how true. it is. That's true. That's, true. that's true. What happened when EA that's not true. EA targeted what? The PS5 and Xbox versions first, right? For Star Wars, Fallen Jedi, or whatever it was called. They, tar- they, they chose right. that first. And the PC version sucked fast. Why the fuck would you do that? Nobody cares <laughs> about PC. That's why PC yeah, players play a fucking lot of Gary's mod. Come on PC. Why do you PC, think EA... PC fanboys play Gary's mod and shit like that? Who? Nobody cares okay. about that. <laughs> you're, that operating off, you're operating off of some 2007 Bro, lo- logic and some shit like that, man. Get out. Uh, I feel like game developers are still stuck in a 2020 year. Like they using that as an excuse. Like I don't know. It, it seemed like it all started after that. Like after that, it's been a bunch of patches and then a bunch of delays ever since that year yeah. for some reason. Yeah, and they're too busy with putting microtransactions in all these games. That's why yeah. I take long too on that part. Oh so yeah, we got to get more than sixty dollars out of these guys. What else can we do? Yes, make a naked, a naked like naked fighter skin or something. That'll get them nerds. Like come on, now, what? <laughs> like, you know, the battle passes. Yeah, but, the, uh, you got you got to do. But then I think it goes back to like us being impatient, picky, right. ungrateful. Yeah, exactly. Right, exactly. That's because how it like, is, yeah. for example, like I can say I'm looking for games on Nintendo, right? But like Nintendo has dropped a lot of shit since the Switch came out. But mm. I can just not be interested in none of the shit, right? So then that's ridiculous. me. I'm very picky with the shit. So like, you know, if I'm just dodging. Fire Emblem, Advance Wars, Zelda, Mario, Mario Kart, and I'm just trying to really narrow down, oh, I want Nintendo to make this specific game, then I'm doing a disservice to myself and I'm just not enjoying the platform. Because all the plat I mean, with with the exception of Xbox, PlayStation, uh, Nintendo, there's games there, but like, you know, if we're not willing to, like, or if you're just not really, you're being very nitpicky on what's there, then you're kind of doing a disservice to yourself for the platform. So I think part of it is us being very judgmental too. Like, Agreed. I think yeah. we just have a higher expectation nowadays. I mean, it's it's like that because things are different. You know, it's, it's because we spoiled. We spoiled. Yeah. yeah you game, when you game on Nintendo, they deliver so much. What else can you expect? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I just ask to not put it at seventy if it's not ready. You know, just leave it at sixty at least. Nice. I agree. But but yeah, but Aaron, but that's the problem. Like you said, yeah, Nintendo has a lot of great games, but if I'm like, yo, I don't give a fuck about none of that. I just want Metro Prime 4. 
you got a lot of people that just won't support the shit until they get that. Hey, then so be it. That's so, their like, choice to do it. I like mean. think about how many people fucking only want PlayStation for like the Last of Us series and just don't care about anything else. I, I believe like, those nope. idiots out there exist, and I know it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like people who just play Xbox just for Call of Duty and 2K. You know, it's and always going to be. There are a lot too. of those out there. That, like you said, that there are a lot of dumb people out there who only buy an Xbox and a PlayStation for Call of Duty and Madden. They typically don't really give a shit if the next Last of Us come out. They'll probably buy it, but they, they're not buying a PlayStation for the Last of Us. The, the casual gamer, just not. So, I'm pretty sure it's out there. Yeah, I think that's, that's only the, the, it's the main reason to buy a PlayStation. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, man, exclusives. Like, I'm not buying a Switch to play fucking Lego Harry Potter. Hey, some, yeah. some kid probably did. I'm buying the Switch know. to play fucking Advance Wars and Mario Kart. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Me and you both, but like, yeah, but Aaron's yeah. also right. Like, somebody did probably buy it just for fucking Lego Star Wars or whatever. Yeah, somebody probably just, did just buy to have it, it just to have it handheld, man. Is that's the Remember, thing that the Switch has for them to make an NBA Two K Twenty Three version of the Switch, or like a Switch version of that. Someone had to have bought bought, bought the fucking Two K on um because that motherfucker could take it anywhere he wants. I'm sorry. Exactly. I, I can, even though I'm not even part of that community, I can speak for 2K motherfuckers. They ain't buying that shit on Switch. Even to their, <laughs> even to, the, even no, to their they standards, keep, they, they would be like, though. this shit's they unplayable. Keep making it. They keep making it. The no su- no, no like, one's buying Aaron, <clears throat> any, Aaron, anybody who's playing 2K ain't even going to buy a Switch. They're going to be like, what is that? Exactly. Like, that, they don't no, buy that You shit. say that, <laughs> but they keep making them. They would have stopped if it wasn't selling. That's my whole point. It, it, so you, is 2K on the Switch? I don't know. Is it? Yes, it, it is. is. It is. It, <laughs> is. it, it is. had like five games on the Switch every year since like 2020 has come out on the Switch. That's okay. 2019. I don't know who I need to see the audience. They doing some data tracking. I need to see who's buying those games. I agree. That, that's yeah, the yeah, surely yeah. ain't de- nobody from North Philly who's who got who walking around. <laughs> yeah, they not. No, nah. so, I agree. But look, look at it this way: Mortal Kombat One is coming out on the Switch, not the PS4, but the Switch. Come on, yeah. yeah but Mortal Kombat Eleven was really successful on the Switch, so that, that makes sense. Yeah, now, I, like bet you, I bet you. I bet you. this. It's not coming out on the P with the PS5 and the Xbox. It's gonna be delayed. Probably so. Shit yeah, sure. Big. Coming out the, the same day. That shit gonna look like more to come at the Deception on the PS2. That shit gonna look horrible. But you know, it's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Somebody, somebody, some, somebody bought it. Somebody yeah. bought Mortal Kombat 11. Somebody yeah. bought 2K22. Somebody I bought. bought Someone's <laughs> buying FIFA. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's oh nice, yeah. I bought Mortal Kombat 11 on Switch for like $4. Exactly. So like, if it's that low, why not? <laughs> mm. uh, As I said, it's, in my opinion, it's capitalism, right? I think I read something where 70% of EA's fiscal year was microtransactions. They don't, <laughs> they don't have to invest in the quality of games. All they have to do is look at their sales and their Precisely. targets. You and know where that shit comes from, don't, too? They don't, they don't there's a bigger audience. There's not one set of audience for video games anymore. So either way, somebody's going to buy it. So yeah. I just feel like... Yeah. All, of EA, <laughs> all of EA shits come from The Sims. Them fucking expansion No, it doesn't. Don't, dis- <laughs> don't disrespect me. See, now I'm about Damn. to fight you. Don't disrespect Damn. me. This is better than 90% of EA's overall catalog, though. That shit's coming no, from the Sims. Not- Expansion pack. See, <laughs> Fortnite. Fortnite's not under EA. No, I'm saying like for uh, Michael yeah, Chan's action. You yeah, talking yeah, about yeah? yeah. But you got <laughs> every you got every Fortnite skin that could ever exist. Yeah, like, they they're, they make a bank off of Michael Chan's action. They're making yeah. bank off of it. Mm-hmm. But that's only because they got all the license to all these fucking characters and shit, and then they be making their own dope ass characters. Yep. And so, and little, and, and little Jimmy, our cousin, little Jimmy, or whoever our little cousin is, who wants to borrow <laughs> our cell phone to play our games and shit like that, all buying each of them goddamn skins. Oh my God, Spider Man, Miles Morales, I have to get that. Right, come on. Mom, give me your purse. 
That's a good point. Like the Michael transactions. <laughs> The microtransactions are more appealing to the younger you because they're used to Fortnite, so they can easily transition into 2K and the NFL games, those normie games, and that's how you get people I on the Switch I and shit like that. I you how many times I went to the GameStop in North Philly and I saw all these goddamn dumbasses in the store buying BC, virtual currency, for fucking 2K. <laughs> yeah, it's a big thing. I feel like that's, yeah, that's killing the, the third party, low key. I feel like that's doing all the nah, third party man. things. We got to stop with the 2K slander, bro. They're investing hours and times into the game just as much as we are. Nah, fuck <laughs> <I'm wrong>, them. <laughs> the game, but I just, I'm just saying it's just killing it. You're right. But, <laughs> but you just slandered Sims, so you need to make a decision. You can't slander <laughs> one game and not slander the other. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, I think that's a, that covers about it. Um, appreciate everybody that's been giving love and support on the channel. As always, uh, continue to keep listening to us on all platforms. Uh, thank you, Angel and, and Kalia, for being on this episode. We always, I'm always amazed to have you guys on the actual episodes. Um, and I think that's about it. I don't know if anybody has anything else you want to close out. Play Street Fighter 6. Get it in while you can. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mira, you have anything? No, I think that's it. Um, yeah, play Street Fighter 6. Get it in while you can. All right. <laughs> Angel, you have anything? <laughs> Angel, you have anything? Cool, you? Uh, no. Nope. City Girls Up a Thousand. That's it. Get that shit out. What are you doing? (laughs) All right. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.